there have been some recent revelations about what Coach Finidi actually said in the meeting yesterday at the sports minister's office in Abuja, where he, Coach Finidi, NFF, and the sports minister, Senator John Eno, were all in attendance as they talked about the issues that Nigerian Superheroes have been facing and the possible ways to, uh, you know, to get everything to start working again, to start getting results uh, for the Nigerian Super Eagles. In the last video, I mentioned that Coach Finiti, uh, after that meeting, didn't really talk to the media because he was in a somber mode. He didn't really feel uh, the need to talk. But right now, there have been uh, some revelations from an insider source who observed the meeting. Uh, and, you know, he has said a number of things that Finiti uh, gave or answered as some of his reasons why Nigerian Super Eagles are not getting the results, why they are not really playing in harmony getting the results you know so according to this uh source uh, whose name uh, hasn't been mentioned coach finiti blamed nff you know in a way as one of as part of the reason for nigerian spiders to have not clicked and then for the other reason he blamed uh, the the absence of victor osime for these two games that we didn't get the result and for the, the for the first reason finiti obviously uh, said uh, that you know he he's not getting the all the support that he expected from the NFF. They are kind of uh, you know abandoning him or frustrating him because they are not really uh, helping him as much. And he mentioned the fact that uh, you know there is a huge indisciplinary uh, uh, situation in in the team that some players, a lot of the players, in fact, are not very passionate about uh, the team. That even when they come too late, they are just strolling into into the training, into the session. They are not showing this zeal. They are not showing this uh, determination, this passion, energy to play for the team. And that once he noticed that, and he wanted to approach these players or take action, he would then be told by someone that don't touch this player. This player belongs to a certain big man in NFF. You know, so that's what his he said. You know, according to this uh, source, that he has been battling with, you know, the indisciplinary issue in the team, lack of enthusiasm, complete apathy from some of these players, and that uh, he cannot really do anything because these players belong to, in quotes, big men in the NFF who are untouchable. The gaffer says that really frustrated him. And for the second reason, uh, where he mentioned, or where the source who observed the whole team mentioned that he said that Osime is Osime's unavailability was, uh, you know, the second reason why they didn't get the result. Finiti, you know, actually, uh, according to this source, blamed Osime for making himself unavailable, that if he wanted to play the games, he would have been, he would have made himself available, that he, he didn't think that that injury that Osime had was such a big issue uh, that should make him not to, should make him miss those games. You know, he even, uh, you know, accused Osime uh, of picking the games that he wants to play for Nigeria's Bigos. He really said that that also frustrated him, that even though Osime is uh, arguably the best striker, and, you know, in Nigeria possesses and one of the best in the world currently, he cannot go and beg Osime to come represent Nigerian Super Eagles. We recall that Osime had to miss that game because the report uh, you know, came out that he had an injury and he was to be stayed for the next four weeks to recover. This was the reason why Osime didn't play that game. But Finidi, uh, you know, according to this source that has just revealed what happened in the meeting, what Finidi said in the meeting, the man that the gaffer has now uh, said that Osime is not serious with the national team that he is picking the matches that he wants to play in and also the nff are frustrating him because they are supporting these so-called players a few of these players in the in the team to not be serious with the team because if you want to touch them then you have to suffer the consequences from the big dogs in nfl that's the big men in nfl that's what finidi said as his reason why nigerian super groups have not really clicked let me know what you think about this recent revelation. But moving on, guys, let me let you know that Osime, uh, you know, has now uh, hinted to his agent that he is still keen on moving to an EPL club. 
this season, despite the fact that there have been some cooling off regarding his transfer away from Napoli. Osima is insisting that he still wants to leave Napoli, that in fact that's still, that is still his top priority uh, this season or for next summer. Even Fabrice Romanov has confirmed, you know, the fact that Osime still wants to leave Napoli this season and wants to come to an EPL club. The last time we talked about uh, the fact that there are a number of clubs, likes of Chelsea, Arsenal, Man U, PSG, interested in Victor Osime. Why Chelsea are still trying to sort themselves out, uh, such as selling Lukaku and raising funds to uh, balance their books and get Osime. Arsenal initially withdrew from Osime's race so that they could Chase uh, uh, Sesco. Benjamin Sesco have now signed a new contract with uh, Leipzig, keeping him longer for longer periods uh, with the club. And this means that they may not be interested in selling the man again. And Arsenal are reportedly now dropping that deal, dropping that uh, chase of Sesco and are now channel channeling it into getting Victor Osime. With all these club sites showing interest in Victor Osime, the man plans to meet with his agent later next week so that they can weigh all the offers that have come in for him and the ones that appeal to him, the ones that he feels good and feels right about so that he can make his decision. But whatever his decisions are, Napoli has still adamant that any club that wants to buy Osime should have to meet that uh, transfer valuation that they put on Osime. That's a £101 million pounds for Napoli to sell Osime. But we'll see what transpires in the next couple of days. But moving on, let me let you know that William Chisekong has now uh, said that he feels all Nigerian through and through. You know, more than he feels like a, like a Netherlands uh, man. Of course, you know, Ekong's dad is a Nigerian and his mom is from the Netherlands. And he actually spent his growing days in the Netherlands where he started his football, played in the under-19 and under-20 of the um, Netherlands national team. But, uh, you know, he decided to switch his allegiance to play for Nigeria because he said even back then while he, while he was young, he felt so Nigerian, true and true, that, you know, when he got the call up from uh, the late Stephen Keshe back in 2015, it wasn't really difficult a decision for him to make. It was so simple because he already had this connection, this feeling of being pure Nigerians because while he was in Netherlands, he still didn't fit in, a part of him didn't fit in because of the skin color and everything. And that since he made that decision to join Nigeria, he didn't regret it. And uh, of course, we've seen how far he's come with the team and all, everything that he's achieved. In the last years, let me let you know that Ojo Olon, like, of course, I talked about him in the last video. He's now transferred to a Sudanese club uh, on a two years transfer. But the report is that he actually had to turn down Stanley Wabalis Chippa United, who accosted him and wanted him to replace Stanley Mabali uh, if he leaves. But Ojo didn't want to go to Jupa United. He preferred the move to uh, the Sudanese club side. We wish him all the best you know, in his endeavor with the team. That's the update, guys. Thanks for watching as well. Don't forget to like and share the video. React to any of the stories that you like. Take care of yourselves. Have a lovely day and stay tuned to the channel.